Whether it's an older title of a video game such as Need for Speed, which came out in 1997, a slightly newer one like the good old Burnout Paradise that was released back in 2008, or even the newest Forza Horizon 4, besides stunning graphics, amazing gameplay and great level design, they all share one thing in common, and that is alternative camera placements. At the start, every game has a default camera placement, which is the rear view camera, or in some games it's called the chase camera. However, that can be changed with a click of a button that loops through an array of camera placement. In almost every game, there is three camera placements. The rear view camera, or the chase camera, the further rear view camera, the cabin camera, and in some games, the front bumper camera. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to set up a camera array system, explore update options, and smooth camera transitions. As always, the script will be free to download in the video description. Let's get started. In Unity, start by making a new script, give it a name, and drop it into your camera. In your script, first make a enumerator to demonstrate the update methods. Next, write all three of the update variants. And for the camera behavior, we will build a separate method. In here, I'm referring to the controller script. You totally don't have to do this if it works fine without it. Next, create a range for a float variable. We will use that later to vary the smooth time at the smooth damp function. Declare a new game object that later on we're going to use as a reference point for the look at function. Add the camera behavior method, build a smooth damp function and a look at function. In order to attach to the look at object, we're going to use a find function. After adding conditions to the update methods, we can now test them. In your vehicle prefab, make a folder that contains all the camera positions, load it into an array and then loop through it. 